Traders love breakouts. They love it when prices break to new highs or they break uh, known price resistance levels. And there's a reason for that. Traders like breakouts because they have a tendency to run. There are many, 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 many breakout patterns out there and different variations and derivations of it and slightly different looks and nuances. These are some of the most common patterns. You got your high base, ascending triangles, bull flags, bull pennants, symmetrical triangles, cups and handles, um, ascending triangles and things of that nature, powerful patterns. And really what you're looking at is, and what all breakout patterns share in common is really simple. Price breaks resistance ceilings. When price breaks resistance ceilings, a couple things happen. Bulls start piling in from the sidelines. When they see the breakout, anybody who's waiting to see if the breakout occurred, they start to rush in and buy, 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 buy. So when prices break out, people buy. In fact, you repeat after me. What do you do when a stock breaks resistance? You buy. Um, it works. It's consistent. There, of course, is you know potential for a fake out where the stock pokes its head up and then drops back. But the the reason we like breakout patterns is because the bulls start to pile on as it reaches for that new those new prices high. And anybody who's short, any bears are forced to buy to cover. And so it's got a really good chance of breaking out and running. And again, whether it's a high base an ascending triangle, a flag, or a pennant. Again, they all share you know, that same thing in common. They're breaking resistance zones like the downtrend and the resistance zone. They're breaking the resistance zone, the downtrend, the resistance zone. And again, breakout patterns are very powerful patterns. Um, whether it's a symmetrical triangle, a megaphone pattern, or a, everybody's favorite, my favorite, your favorite, the cup and handle. And when we spot those cups and handles, woohoo, we are in business. We love to buy those breaks. Buy above resistance. So let's take a look at a couple of candidates on breakouts from recent scouting reports here. We'll crack over here. And there's here's one on this options report this week that is coming up against this all-time high here at 90.39. And you got Target with the high base pattern. That looks just like the one from the from the picture there on the on the website. So you got that stock in a box and you're looking for that to break out. Now it needs that price confirmation. And it's got to clear that resistance zone. But when price breaks resistance, it tends to run. I mean, here's a good example of an ascending triangle back here. And uh, this is cup and handle right here where you got the cup and handle and it, break, it breaks out. When we spot those breakout patterns, again, they're usually good to go. Here's another one on AMD. So here's AMD. And it's got this big cup and handle on AMD. And inside there, there's a little cup and handle right there. And it's all poised for a breakout. And if it can clear this 34, we think it can probably run out to 40. But just look back, you know, at the number of times this pattern's panned out, you know, kind of cup and handle like or chop box, breaks out, boom. Sideways stock in a box, breaks out, boom. Um, breakout patterns are very, very powerful patterns. And when we spot them on a chart, it's reasonable for us to get, you know, quite excited. Here's another one from this week's stock report that just broke to a new high, a bull flag pattern. This stock has been running a few of those. And again, it runs up, chops sideways. And when it breaks out, it's a good time to buy. When it breaks out, it's a good time to buy. When it breaks out, it's a good time to buy. When it breaks out, you're getting the picture. So look for those favorable reward to risk ratios on the breakouts. And again, apply those steps, those step system rules on your entry criteria, your stop loss criteria, your targets. Make sure you got favorable reward to risk ratios because those breakout patterns give you a strong technical edge.